Well, that was short-lived. Ryan ran out of gas and now I need to find another ride to get to the Bunny Ranch. So just keep walking here, see what we can find. Wait a second, that's an open shop over there. That looks like a Jeepster Commando. This is my kind of place, let's go check it out. Man, I think this might be Sam's house. Hey Sam. Hey, what's up? You in here, bud? Oh, this is your place, man. You got me. Were you just getting yourself a cold one? <laughs> yeah, you want one? I'm stranded, I've been walking for a long time, I'm parched. All right. What do you got here? Uh, oh, light. How about the original right there? Oh. Banquet beer. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Whoa! Look at that. No cans here, huh? No. Man, it's chilly out there too. It is. You so shut th the door? this your shop? Shut the door. Jesus. Let me check this out. Oh boy, this is Jeepster heaven. <laughs> Everybody has the coolest shops. I had no idea. Oh yeah? You got it made. Well, I got a lot of stuff crammed in here. So this is your shop, this is your Jeepster, yep. but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you'd still work out of this garage too, right? I do. I have a business that we sell Jeep parts. And mostly older Jeep stuff, right? Yeah, vintage restoration parts. And so what's that, partsdude.com? Partsdude.net. Partsdude.net. Yep. So yep. we make like emblems and this All kind of kinds stuff? of stuff, yep, we make those, yep. Well, you know, I was talking to you on the Jeepers Jamboree, which I met you 20 years ago At on least. the Jeepers Jamboree yeah. this year, and we were talking about your Jeepster, and I honestly thought you built this thing five years ago. Yeah, it's been like 13 or 14 years. That's crazy. It is. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about this thing, because I, I remember when you built it, uh, you called down to us, you bought a bunch of builder parts from us, yep. you were building it in the, in the garage here at home, and uh, this is what you ended up with, and it just came out bitching. And even though it's a you know 15 plus year old build, it's still timeless and fully fits right now. You know? Yeah. It, uh, and these things are starting to come alive. Everybody wants one, right? Every, everyone's building one. And, you know, I got inspiration from just seeing pictures of lifted Jeepsters. And I had one before this. And then I bought this one from a, from a gas station in Tahoe. It used to have a plow on it. So body came off. Uh, we extended the frame. So I'm looking at this right now. So yep. this is two by four? Two by four. So the frame's extended, steering box moved out front, yep. Saginaw power steering. I mean, a lot of your building style is our style. This, just a two by four front box bumper, yep. welded on, D-rings, and this right here warms my heart. Yes. <laughs> it's a 1974. That's a 1974 yep. Warren 8274. It is. And I put the modern motor on it. Oh, you did the motor upgrade. I can see the fins. Yeah. Yep. And when you do that, it comes with a new gear too, right? It does. Yep. yep. And then uh, I noticed you're still running cable. You know, these kids these days run rope. I know. But rope doesn't get, sun, or ro the cable doesn't get sun bleached and break. No. And so 15 years, the cable's just as strong as it was, you know, when you started. It is. Well, it, as in 1974, yeah, to be honest Yeah, it is actually you. the original rope. That is know? the original <laughs> cable. So one thing I like about this, I do with all of our CJs, is you've sunk the 8274 down. Yes. And the key with doing these frame extensions right here gave you the room to sink it down so you're not blocking your grill. Right. Yep. Right? So you have the classic Jeep look in the front. So uh, let's fast forward to the axles. So okay. we actually built these axles at the shop, yep. you know, years and years ago. What, uh, what did we say, 15 years ago? Yeah, it was like 09, I think is when I was really almost done doing the axles. So yep. 14, 15 yeah. years yeah, ago. And so what is this axle? This looks to me like a Chevy Dana 60. Chevy Dana 60 with 513s in Detroit, front and rear. So I'm looking right here as you peek in, uh, I can see that you have our Dana 60 king, Kingpin double arms on there. Yep. So yep. tie rod behind the axle. Yep, keeps everything out of the way. And then I noticed you did something we like to do right there. You added a third bolt on your leaf spring perch right. or, or top plate. Yep. So the studs always break on the Dana 60 housing. So you got three of them in there right now. Yeah. Um, Deaver springs, spring over, most of the stock frame. 
Dana 60. If I'm not mistaken, we did this about 64 inches wide, maybe 63. Yeah, 63 and a half. So it's not full width by any nope. means. Nope. Um, and then your spring center center is still uh, 27 and a half inches, right? Yeah. So basically, all we did was take the long side of the 60, shortened it down yep. to get that spring width, and that's where you ended up. And then what axle is in the rear? A Dana 60 as well. Dana 60 as well. So why don't you show us what's under the hood of this? Sure. Thing? Nice and easy. So being that this build is 15 years old, uh, back then we, nobody was doing LSs, right? So right. Chevy 350 headers. Uh, tell us about the motor. Yeah, it's a ZZ4 and it has like a hot cam, 1.6 roller rocker. So it's probably about 360, 370 horsepower. I know this has got the serpentine belt set up on it. Yep. And are you actually pulling air off of this air compressor? No, is I that never just, haven't got around to that it. That just idles the belt. <laughs> One thing I do really like is mechanical fan. Yeah, oh yeah, and absolutely. No shroud with a, with a flex fan and it still doesn't overheat? No, and I have a backup fan in the front. So when you're at a stop on a hot summer day on the Rubicon, you'll kick that fan on? It, it's therm it has a thermostat that okay. comes on yep. and turns off. You know, if you just built a shroud, you wouldn't even have to have that. I know. Yeah. But the <laughs> LS will get it. Exactly. So. <laughs> So dual Optima's under the hood, and then like we do on all the CJ's, uh, Hydro Boost brakes, I see. Yep. And then PSC power steering. Yep. So what carburetor have you, you know, carburetor, here we are, we're talking about yeah. Jeepsters and, and old builds, and you're running a carburetor, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a Holley Truck Avenger 670. And for the most part, that thing does just fine on what it, you do, Yeah, right? Rubicon, it, it's perfect, but when you get real steep or, you know, going down, it'll blubber a little bit which sometimes when you're going uphill you need that you need a little gas to get it up and it, which, it stumbles a little which last year made me roll this thing that and dry, running out of talent so you know i'm santa claus so i saw you roll that right because i see everything <laughs> everything so uh, we might be able to steal some footage and put into that because okay this was a beautiful rig you had it in jp magazine and last year you took it and rolled it yep yep yeah but was, Pretty much fixed now. Pretty much. But I it was not yeah. an easy fix. You said you had to do a cowl, the dash crinkled. Firewall, oh, dash, yeah. hood, So did grill. you just cut up another Jeepster and weld it to, into yes. this? Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, so under the hood, pretty straightforward, yep. and LS is on the way, right? LS on the way. Yeah. Hopefully by January. And, and you know, a lot of people put CJ front clips on these, and... You're not into that, right? You're no. kind of a purist. CJ grill, Yeah. but with the Jeepster so, wings. So that's what people don't understand. So this grill yeah. is stock CJ, right? CJ7. Yep. And you can actually feel the weld right here. Yeah. They weld this wing yeah, onto a just, stock just grill. Just a little piece right here. You can see, you can the, see it overlaid yeah. right here and here. So the CJ grill, so it's, it's the same there. grill. So yep. if you convert it to CJ, you can keep that grill and just put CJ fenders. Yeah. Yeah. And then these fenders... Wait, open the hood again. If we're not mistaken, aren't these stock CJ fenders? No, these are Jeepster fenders. They are Jeepster because they, they have the drip rail here Everything's for the CJ the same hood. except for the bottom corner. The bottom corner down there. Where it hit, meets the rocker. And that's why that triangle is in the body. So yep. this top part is CJ. This is CJ. Yep. Inner is CJ. And the inner is CJ. And it's yep. just that. That lower check, triangle. Check this out right here. You see this body line added in? They just literally cut it and added this bottom section right. so they could have the same CJ stamping in the front. This thing, you have a hard top for this, right? It, yeah. Right now you don't have the hard top on because we're coming off of summer. So the dash has been narrowed so I could get the bar for, forward. Oh, Something for the roll bar. Something a lot of people don't see. The dash would come all the way. Because the bar would be here, so I narrowed that, I shortened the glove box, took out the factory gauges and stuff. 13, 14 years ago, I was mainly just building the thing just to be simple and bulletproof. Yeah. So there's not any extra anything. I mean, I have a subwoofer. That's about as, as yeah, uh, fancy as stair. what I have. You got a CD player in this? No. Oh, wow. You stepped it up. I did. It's all yeah. Bluetooth. Now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, you got a factory ashtray? Yep. I like that. Yep. What transmission are you running? Turbo 400 and an Atlas with 4.3. Okay. Yep. yep. Factory column, I see. Factory column, and I actually have a uh, tilt column that I'm going to put in with the factory wheel. You know, the feel of a factory wheel is it's not to be beaten. What year is this? We didn't go over the 69. year. 69. So it's a 69 yep. Jeepster. Yeah. Yep. 
That's a that's a long time ago. And are those factory door panels, or that's just a piece of aluminum that you uh, cut? There out? was upholstery here, and I just you took some uh, state of California stop signs and. Oh, there made you some go. Door panels. Yeah, smart here in Nevada. Use those California signs. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so full back seat in this thing. Yeah. Um, and then still quite a bit of space, you know, behind the back seat, right? Yeah. Oh, I see that subwoofer. You got your your standard trail stuff. You know, power steering fluid, siphon hose, WD-40, gear oil. Yep. And the top fits on here nice. And I noticed there's no spare tire. You used to have a spare tire that mounted yeah. on these. It goes, there's a cradle that I put on, then it mounts right here. So you, and you, if you're going on a big trip, do you still take it? Yeah. Yeah. I take it on the Jamboree just because the wheels are six lug. I should have done eight. Yeah. But uh, at the time I had free axle shafts, they were six lug and that's what started the whole thing. Oh, you know, I remember when we built these. So this is a six lug semi float rear 35 yeah. spline 60, yeah. which is really easy to build and super strong. Yeah. And then the front Dana 60 just has six lug hubs on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So my thing about Jeepsters is the body hangs down way too far back here. Right. Right. And we can take a look at some of those other ones. So you cut the body way up. Oh yeah, it's about wrapped with this yeah, bumper. A whole bunch. Off. Would you take like Same eight with inches? The rockers too. Yeah, the rockers hang down a lot too, yeah. right? And so we, we went right past this. I didn't even notice coilovers in the rear. Yeah. So 15 years ago, that really wasn't a thing yet, and you yeah. went for it, huh? Went for it. Yep. So this thing has a um, dual triangulated four link, right? No, it's a three link. Oh, the upper is a wishbone. Yeah, it's a wishbone. So yep. wishbone upper with a truss, Dana 60 coilovers, anti-rock sway bar, um, fuel tank in the rear, just yep. really a simple rear suspension setup, yeah, right? Yeah. Yep. Handles good, wheels good. Handles really well on the highway. And this is a driver. You oh. drive it to the trail, yep. you drive it home, you drive it all over the place, yep. right? Yep. And uh, I noticed you got your hitch nice and high up panel into the back bumper. Yep. So you must have raised your trailer up a little bit to get on there. Uh, yes, I have a trail trailer. So uh, one of the one of the things about Sam is when you go on the Jeepers Jamboree, you run into these boys on the Rubicon, you tend to get overserved. <laughs> they have a pretty well functioning bar in their campsite. Yes. Uh, and due to that, you need the trailer to bring in your stuff. Yep. I mean, you, you guys bring in three trailer loads of gear to set up your camp. Gotta have it. Yeah. Gotta be comfortable. There's a lot of consumption going on over there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> 40 inch nittos yep. on uh, 17 inch Walker Evans beadlocks. Yeah. You just don't see a lot of Walker Evans beadlocks anymore. No. And I think that really is kind of a classic look because it's almost like the big hole look of the early like Eagle 589s right. you know, or the Mickey Thompsons. Um, and yeah, having this rocker up high, really a big deal. Yeah. So. Let's talk about the shop. Let's talk about what else you got in here. So you got some, some other ones in here yeah, too, Yeah, so right? this is my shop truck. It's a little half cab. Uh, the half cab does look cool. There's no way I could fit in there. No, it, you feel like an a elephant in there, but um, I put, have the seat all the way back. I'm gonna put a, have an SM420 to go in there because the clutch is out. So I'm gonna do the four speed. And, Are uh, you going to hang this inside? Yes, with a low motor so it turns <laughs> yeah. while you're driving. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yep. And so yep. these things, uh, they came with Buick V6s, right? Yes. Yep. So this originally would have had this, yeah. uh, an odd fire Buick V6? Yeah, it had a 225 and a turbo 400. So yep. 225 Buick V6, turbo 400, and then a Model 20 transfer case. Correct. And was this the vintage that had a two piece front drive shaft? Yes. Which is crazy. So yeah. carrier bearing off the side of the yeah. Turbo 400. Yeah, this one has it. This yeah. one has it too. Yeah. What a wild setup. You know? Yeah, it's just so it can clear, especially on the automatics, you can't clear a Turbo 400 with the drive with shaft. With the 20. You, yeah. you have to go to a carrier and then around. Yeah, yeah. So your passion is, is Jeepsters, and you have a 15 year old build that is still like one of the nicest ones in the country. Thank you. Um, and the color is. Unbelievable. Is this an original factory, color? Factory. This is a fact. What do you call this color? Empire blue polymetallic. Empire blue polymetallic. Yeah. You know, I wish I could keep our shop this clean. This is crazy. Well, like pretty nice shop. You got a heater and everything. Yeah. Well, what's this up here? This is like a flat fender a, frame. No, it's a frame for my old CJ5, the white one that I used to drive before this. Mm -hmm. The frame had been broken like 10 times in a row. And so I retired and built this and I'm gonna restore it back to 
like a original, somewhat original, like a Rubicon original with 33s, skinny springs, two and a half inch spring SM under Rancho Springs, Detroit's and yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so you got the two Jeepsters here, and then basically this is just all your inventory uh, for your yep. business, right? That's so the whole business. Yeah. So you come in here. You leave the house, you walk 100 feet, you come into your <laughs> shop, you got the heater on, you have beer in the fridge, yep. you box up parts, you ship them out the door, and then you build badass Jeeps like this. Yep. Uh, yep. I mean, does it get any better than that? I don't think so. Well, you know, I've been hiking through the desert. I've been uh, parched, which this helped me. And I do have a very serious business appointment oh. uh, just down the road from here. Sounds like you need a ride. I might need to get a ride uh, to this place. Uh, I think it's called the Bunny Ranch. I've and, never uh, heard of it. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. most men have never heard no. of it. Yep. And uh, I, got a, I got a meeting with a, with a girl named Cristal. Oh, you know? okay. She's a real nice lady. An orthopedist. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you could give me a ride down there, that'd be great. Let's go. Sounds good. All right. Don't mind that. Little gifts for all the good little boys and girls. Oh, right. Even the foreign kids. Oh. <laughs> Not a lot of room in the middle. You get kind of cozy with your uh, with your buddy here. They're, they're narrow. You get these seatbelts from Southwest? <laughs> you need the belt extension? They're like airplane seatbelts. I love it. Jeepster. everybody, 12% off on the website on all WFO products. You can build your own rig just like that. Till the end of the year, no code needed, 12% off. See ya. <laughs>